Hello and welcome. I'm Danette Kabanja, and joining me today for a very special Zoom interview is Mustafa Amar. He's lived several career lives in one single life. He's been a pharmacist, an international diplomat, an investment banker, and now an entrepreneur. He's the founder and CEO of the Passion MBA, where he coaches thousands around the world to help them find their dream careers and dream businesses. He's the author of The Passion Project, Build a Career You Were Born to Have, and find your life purpose. Thank you so much for being with us, Mustafa. Thank you, Danet. It's nice speaking to you today. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk about this. You've been a pharmacist, an international diplomat, a banker. None of these things seem to go together. How do you reinvent yourself so seamlessly? I agree with you, Danet. I mean, when I started my career, I didn't have any that I would do this. I, But I knew when I was 16 years old that I would just pursue my passion. And that was the only clear idea I have in my mind. So, uh, you know, when I was 10 years old, my dream was to be a diplomat. But I, when I was 16, I wanted to study all kinds of chemistry. And I decided, I told my dad, I want to study all kinds of chemistry. And I don't care what will happen after that. And this is what happened. I studied all kinds of chemistries for five years. I enjoyed it. I was enough <laughs> of it at some point. And then once I graduated, I started thinking uh, how to pursue that old dream or that old passion to be a diplomat. So while working as a pharmacist, I started preparing myself, you know, learning everything from scratch, uh, international law, international organizations, negotiations, international diplomacy, everything. I didn't have any clue how I do it. I still remember doctors and people around me, mostly 99% uh, or more were saying, no, you cannot do it. But I had a faith in myself. I had a faith in, you know, in the justice of the world. When you do your best, you will get what you deserve. And I say, I just have to do my best. I didn't have anything to lose. And I did it. Uh, at some point, people believe that I was born as a diplomat. But I wasn't born as a diplomat. I was born as somebody else. But then I had to learn those skills very quickly. My third uh, transition was to be a banker. I had the same doubters around me as well. You cannot do it. You were born as a diplomat. You cannot be a banker. But then again, I was using the same way and the same methodology to learn those skills very quickly, you know, and then move in my career and learn more. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm in my fourth life. So I'm sharing all those concepts, values that I learned along my journey with people around me. They transform my life and I'm sure they transform other people's lives too. And you think pretty much anybody can do this if they follow your passion blueprint. Tell me about that. Definitely, definitely. Because the concept that I'm using, it's very, very practical. You know, uh, it, the, the way I'm, I'm coaching people is very practical because I've been through all those hardships. And I know when people are doubting what you need to do, you know, uh, to trust yourself. I know if you want to build your life on the right foundations, then those three elements, your passions, your vision, your dream lifestyle are the most, or the, or let's say the essential elements that you really need them, right? So let's imagine this analog. You are on a long journey traveling across the whole country for thousands of miles. Uh, you need three essential elements while you're driving. First, enough fuel for your car. Second, you need the GPS tracker to let you know where are you heading. And you need a final destination, right? So imagine if you don't have enough fuel, you will stop at some point. You will not be able to complete the journey. And the second element, if you don't have a GPS tracker, you get lost at some point, right? Because you're traveling in a road that you never traveled before. And what's the benefit of having a GPS tracker if you don't have a final destination, right? And if you apply that to the passion blueprint, I would say your fuel is your passion. Okay? Your passion is what will ensure, you know, you are enjoying what you're doing working very hard, you know, and, you know, you are fulfilling your life. The second element is your values. So you know, the GPS tracker is what will make sure you're going in the right direction. You don't get lost. And the final destination is your vision for your dream lifestyle. A lot of people do this mistake is that they don't visualize a dream lifestyle for them, where they want to see themselves five years from now, for example. So if you build that and have that vision, marry it with your passions and, and values, yeah, it's, it's a way to go. <laughs> and I love that it really kind of eliminates living with regret. 
because it gives you that opportunity to go after what you were meant to do. I do agree with you 100% because research showed that people don't regret their mistakes, you know, because we get to learn from our mistakes and then move on very quickly. But number one source of regret is, you know, wanted to do the things that we loved, but we didn't do it. Living a life of our dreams, but then we had to conform with whatever other people are, you know, they wanted us to do. So I 100% agree with you. Thank you so much for sharing all this amazing advice. To learn more about Mustafa, his book, The Passion Project, as well as all of his other projects, please visit his website at thepassionmba.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dan. It was a pleasure. Thank you.